Thank you. Wow, <laughs> you had me in tears now. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, guys. <laughs> uh, it's so good to be back. I kind of missed you. You know, I felt we got so close all of a sudden. And so, so let's keep having fun. See, I started, um, I never thought of being a social entrepreneur in my life uh, because I, want, I was a teacher of English who liked to sing in classes and use uh, English uh, songs to uh, teach English to the students. And so I said, no, I don't want the classroom. I want Broadway. So I went to New York to study musical theater. Yes, and I wanted to be a superstar on Broadway. Always had small ambitions. And uh, once a superstar on Broadway, my next step would be go to Hollywood and be the first Brazilian actor to win an Oscar. <laughs> but the circus walked by my house, and then I joined the circus. And all of these dreams become something so different. And I tell you, much more exciting, just like being here with you guys. Uh, because the minute I started to work as a clown in a hospital, I started to see the hospital also as a metaphor to the lives we lead, especially in this fast-changing world. And I thought, where does the hospital begin and where does it end if we cultivate so much this is in our relationship with life? And I thought, instead of, you know, stopping everything to go after the answer, let me play around and see what comes. And that's how playfulness got into my life. I got a, uh, a fellowship from the Institute for the Future in California uh, to talk about, to learn about, and to bring about knowledge about the relationship between joy, playfulness, and work especially because in fast-changing times that change so fast that they don't even give you a manual or a guidebook, and it's about throwing yourself at the movement and learning how to play, learning how to dance, playfulness is our best ally. Because first, uh, when we played ever since we were babies, that's how we learned most of what we use in life today. So these, this is such a fundamental time. And then when you're having this fun, this joy, this discovery, someone says, it's serious now, get over it, okay? And forget about all that. And that's when the trauma begins. So the good news is science is finally starting to prove to us that playfulness in every step of the way in every phase of our life is extremely healthy. And why did we start? <laughs> why did I start with these little challenges today? And thank you so much, because from my standpoint, one of the most beautiful images that I saw when we were doing this was exactly this, knowing the children in, your, in you, yeah, <laughs> because this <laughs> this, this not knowing shares our vulnerability in a beautiful way with everyone around, and we're not embarrassed. Or even if we are, you know, uh, a little embarrassed and say, oh God, I'm so discombobulated. Yeah, we do that, but then again, there's always a breath. And breathing is the first thing we did as we came out, you see, uh, of mom's womb. And, uh, and breathing is the last thing we're going to do if we die of natural causes. So between one uh, inspiration and one exhalation, we live a life. Breathing, playfulness, fast-changing world. Why, how can we put everything together? Practicing. And this is my invitation to you now. I'm going to stop talking and invite you to play. And the greatest thing, um, it's, it's absolutely perfect if you don't get it, if you make a mistake, because that's how we learned. That's how we learned to walk. That's how we learned to stand on our two feet. And um, let's revisit some of that state of mind, and see what happens to us. So my invitation now, let me see how you've done this. Yes, exactly. 
Yes, this is the curse I'm leaving with you. And I, I, I already want to tell you, okay? If you hate this, sh teach it to somebody else. It's, <laughs> pass it on. Yes, exactly. It always works, okay? Now, okay, you can now, you, you've graduated already. Thank you. Now you can stand up and let's go to the next move. Yeah. And at the end of this whole event, I'll teach you the last part. Wonderful. I see you guys stretching. Yes, do that. You deserve it. You've all come such a long way to be here. Yes. Oh, yawn, please. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yes. Mr. Brain Lovitz, when you reward him with an applause, you see, it really does, yeah. He gets so happy that he sends like electric discharges all around saying, oh, me loves it, me loves it, do more, do more. And that's what we're going to do. <laughs> the doors are locked. <laughs> There's no way out. So, okay, let's start by uh, right arm, okay, goes up. Wonderful. And then it goes to the middle. And then it goes down. And then it goes to the middle. And then it goes up. Careful not to hit the, your colleague next to you, okay? Uh, so the idea is the right arm is always going up, middle, down, middle, up. So he always makes a middle stop, okay? On the way up and down. Any questions? <laughs> Shall we try it once? Don't push, don't force anything, okay? Ah, oh, thank you, Mr. Brilliant Mind. Ah, yeah, because he had something very special to add. This, I saw these fires coming out of his fingers, yes, because he was fully alert. So, yeah, there's a big difference between that's, you know, anesthesia. <laughs> so, not good. In a moment like this, the world is changing so fast, the most important thing is to learn how to be here, detached from all the craziness, so that you can watch, observe, know how to when to jump in, and especially know how to maintain your mental health, okay? So, because people are so uh, eager to go to the future, which hasn't happened yet, and catching up with the past that is gone, won't come back. So if you take a picture of a contemporary human being, there's going to be a blur. And believe me, I, I, I mean, these people here, all for this journey, you're anything but blurs. So we are <laughs> the lights, okay? Yes, exactly. So, and how do we access the light mode? When we put our feet on the ground, exactly when we establish ourselves, or as we say in theater, the stance, right? And yes, and you can be very dramatic, yeah, and walk. You see, really, uh, it, 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 see? Your reaction, it's fun, it's joyful to play like with our power. And now that we've learned the movement of the right arm, let's learn the movement of the left arm. <laughs> the left arm is very methodical. It goes up and down and up and down. Some people are going the opposite directions, no problem. You know, this is a very democratic encounter, so... Feel free, you know, go the direction you want as long as it's up and down, okay? <laughs> Wonderful. And what I love to see in the gentleman back there was, was exactly, you know, his fingers, they were spitting fire because he was fully there in making that movement. Ah, yeah, awake, present in the moment, detached from the whole craziness and observing. So, now comes the part I love. We integrate both arms, and the doors are locked. <laughs> There's no escape. 
a one, a two, a one, two, three. It goes like this. <laughs> oh my God, this is beautiful! <laughs> so wonderful, so wonderful that now you're ready to alternate. Right does what left did and left does what right did. And it goes like this. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Very good. I want to see the rays coming out. Yeah. Oh, fabulous. Wow. Oh, no. He's not Congratulations. No, oh, and so we're going to do this every day because then tomorrow I'll teach you how to add your feet to it. Yeah. After all, we do have dancing moments here. So here and outside too. So... But now, it isn't easy what we've just done. It isn't. And you've been brilliant. And thank you so very much for your burst of laughter and joy. Because here, in this act, act we were welcoming our imperfections, our not knowingness, our, the child that we were, that became really <laughs> delighted with this not knowing and trying to get it right and finally doing it for, for experimenting. And there is only one thing that you can do even better. Did you feel like judging yourself a little bit? Oh, God, I'm, you know, I don't know how to do this. I don't have the practice. Or if you felt like this, Welcome to the real world, because we do that a lot. And, but, did you guys think of breathing consciously while doing this? No? So, shall we try a last time? You don't have to alternate yet, we'll save that for tomorrow, okay? But, it, so choose if you want to go right or left, okay? It's a democracy after all. And so, but use your breath. Whenever you find challenge. <laughs> oh, it's so good to hear the laughter. Yeah. Wonderful. Have you seen any changes? Yeah, applaud. And you're applauding yourselves, and this is wonderful. Our brain loves to be recognized. Now, did you see a difference between the first time when I didn't ask you to uh, breathe, and did you see a difference in the second time? What was the difference you noticed? Slower, more, more silent, right? And more present. Connection, exactly. For, there are several reasons why, you know, when we breathe and we invoke our stance, our presence, we become more silent, more focused, and then we are able to understand our bodies better, to understand ourselves, to look at ourselves. And this is so important at a time like this. You've all earned the right to sit down comfortably now with a big round of applause. And like I told you, this is why 
I'm, uh, I've decided to start developing playfulness and learning playfulness and studying playfulness because I saw the application of it in uh, pedagogy of emergency where professional players are trained to work with populations that have been aggravated by disasters, natural disasters or war problems. And then these people are traumatized because, you know, kids are going back home and home has been exploded by a bomb. So that creates trauma and trauma creates disconnection. And trauma creates rigidity, also absence. Now the human body is 75% liquid and the brain is 80% liquid. What does liquid do? What is the quality of the movement of liquid? It flows. Aren't we all pursuing flow, 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 aren't we? Yes. Instead of pursuing it, which is an outside movement, why not connect with it? Why not visit it and open ourselves up to our bodies and our brains? Because molecules, they play in liquid movement. You see, when, we are in when they're in liquid, they have this playful attitude. They're dancing. So we know how to do it, and we just have to access. How do we access? When we take deep breaths, and when we challenge ourselves through playfulness. Because, you know, no big deal if you make a mistake here. On the other hand, when you laugh, <laughs> You're welcoming your imperfection. You're hugging yourself and saying, I love you just the way you are. And you can enjoy that. You embrace humanness. Is that important at a time like this? Yeah? What do you think? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> so is that important at a time like this? And it's... I can guarantee you, it's usually the least thing we search for. Oh, how, this is a serious thing. How, you know, how can you go about playing? And now science is telling us that not only it is so important to play in adult life, but also when we're living a time of lifelong learning. Isn't that beautiful? The best friend of lifelong learning is lifelong playing. <laughs> yes. And I'm not saying that. It's science. Dr. Yakpa, you know, I'm really confused. Uh, 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 have I been talking for seven and a half minutes or have I gone over time? Are you are. I've been talking for seven. Yes. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> you thought she was missing serious, didn't you? The journalist. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, who does not love this man, right? He is just lovable, lovable, so lovable. We Seriously. see ourselves in Thank others. You. That's what we do. But uh, do, do I still have time or is it up? You're sort of up. I have yeah. two. Uh, do I have two minutes? Time's uh, up. <laughs> oh, so I've been over time. Gee, time flies when you're having fun. We love you. We love you a lot. We can't have enough of you. We'll Thank play you. more tomorrow. Definitely. Okay? But Definitely. keep playing. All right, this is the revolution. <laughs>